there is one final guest that I would like to bring up to the sofa and just have a little chat with. Um, her name is Jo Nolan. She's the CEO of the organization Screen South. So, Jo, if you can step up onto the sofa. <laughs> So, Joe, tell us all about Screen South. What do you guys do? Okay. Well, first of all, well done. Fantastic evening. Really enjoyed it. And well done, everyone. It's a brilliant set of films. There, wasn't it? <laughs> um, well, Screen South is the regional screen agency for the southeast of England. And um, we work in partnership with. Uh, the current Film Council. Uh, we all know, I think, what's happening with the Film Council. But uh, the regional screen agencies are going to stay, so you know, we hope to be able to continue what we're doing in terms of supporting new filmmakers, supporting festivals. Um, we kind of support people from local level and then try and offer a pathway for national and international championing new talent and uh, providing lottery funding for short films, seed funding for development of feature films, talent development, career opportunities, mentoring. So offering small amounts of money that will just make a difference to people's careers and project opportunities. So, you know, you see something like tonight, you go, right, everybody's getting 45 quid in future, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the work that you've done on your 45 quids, you know, really does put some of the people who, get, who are fortunate enough to get some of the money, you know, does put some of them to shame, but... Um, but no, we really try and provide a broker and an opportunity for people to get to the next step in whatever it is they're choosing to do, either you know, from, from a kind of community and you know, local audience level, or if they want to take it more seriously and move forward into a career. Absolutely. So what do you think about what you've actually seen so far tonight? Uh, have there been any films that you have um, really enjoyed? Anything in particular that you really liked about the films? Well, I've been, um, I wouldn't pick out one in particular tonight because I think everybody has really, you know, you can tell people have really pushed their opportunities. And, but what I would say about tonight is I thought the acting was really good, you know. And quite often I go to short film programmes and, you know, the acting, sometimes you think, oh, God, they had a really good idea, but what a shame, you know. And I think, no, tonight the actors were fantastic and I've been really impressed by the acting tonight. Uh, which means that you must be impressed with the act, with the directors and the writers and the crew, you know, who are working around you all. So um, I think you've got a real hive of talent here. You know, I think you're doing the right thing, whatever it is, so keep doing it. You know, that's what I would say. <laughs> I, do, I do think that, you know... Um, it's really good to show the work, you know, to show the work, to have deadlines, to have live platforms. Because somebody said earlier, oh, it's all right, you know, you can keep putting your film on YouTube, and that is a brilliant, you know, the online, you know, distribution of new work is really, really important. But there is nothing like getting together and seeing the film in a dark room with, you know, particularly with the filmmakers and everybody, all the talent who are involved. And then to talk about it afterwards and start thinking up new ideas, you know, that's the way things really happen. And, you know, if we can help in any way, uh, Screen South would really be happy to help and support this going forward or whatever it might be. And I think probably some of the things I've seen or heard said tonight, having master classes or getting filmmakers down who are perhaps at the next level in some way and having Q&As with them and talking through, you know... I, in, in, I'd say that's one could do that, but I would keep what you're doing here, where you're presenting new work by new local talent, I'd keep that really precious, because it's very difficult for new filmmakers to get a platform, Excellent. a live platform. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've seen this um, over the past few months. Um, so you like what you've seen so far. Mm. That's a good, that's a very uh, good thing. It's a positive thing. Do you think that... Basingstoke and the surrounding areas, of course, could actually develop into a new centre for independent film within the UK. I mean, you've only just seen eight films here. 
and uh, I'm sure after tonight you'll go out and speak with a lot of filmmakers about new projects, about <laughs> funding, about opportunities, but um, could it happen? Why not? No, why not? Um, you've got a film course here. Um, you've got, obviously, a really interesting group of people who are all helping each other. It's a really good network. And, you know, if you start to go out online, that there's a, a really peer-friendly, supportive network of independent filmmakers working in Basingstoke, people will start to go, all oh, right, okay, Basingstoke, yeah. Well, you know, let's get in touch with them online or let's have a look at the filmmakers from Basingstoke. I'd like to see more girls. I'd like to see more Alice. Is it Alice? Yeah. I thought your film was lovely. It was beautiful, beautiful film. Well done. And I think, you know, to see... When people start to see the film schools or the festivals start to see award winners, new entrants coming from the area. Go, okay, there's something interesting happening in Basin State. What's going on there? And, you know, it can, you can build up a really so nice kind of flavour. And I think it's the festival and opportunities like that for people to come and visit and to see the work and to meet the people involved. That's what would build a cluster of activity around Basingstoke. And, um, yeah, why not? Excellent. So, um, I just must say one thing sure. about Basingstoke. It's been on my mind all night. I don't know if any of you... When I was a kid, I went, I've always had... I've only been here a few times. I've never been to any film events, so well done. Um, he, you've been very good, I have to say. Your PR and your pushing. He's, push, he's championing you all over the place. You know that. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, you really are very good. Thank you. So, the more that you do this, the more that you do this and other people do it with you, the more you will build, build up a cluster and, you know, people will start to invest, I think, and go, okay, well, look, people haven't said what they needed. They haven't said, oh, we want, you know, access to kit or access to resources. People make things happen. And what everybody has said around the table is we want people to invest in you and these sorts of events. So, you know, you can do that. But they used to, everybody's been quite negative about Basingstoke tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always thought Basingstoke been, has been a really interesting place. I th because I, when I was a kid, I went to see a play, and one of the lines in it was, Basingstoke, darling, Basingstoke. And every time somebody sort of, this girl went to faint or something, they'd run over and go, Basingstoke, darling, Basingstoke. And she'd sort of work, work, you know, wake up. I think it was uh, Gilbert and Sullivan or something. <laughs> Am I completely mad? So I I've always thought Basingstoke sounded like a really interesting place. <laughs> well, something's happening, evidently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, so I, I mean, I think you've all been very modest in your demands when Seb's asked you, what would you like? What would you like to see happen? I think you've all been quite modest and you put the emphasis on making the films and I think if you stick to that, make the films, then the rest will, you know, start to happen for you and I think people make a lot of excuses and I can't do this because I haven't got the money I, you know I can't find the people to work with or you know there's no point in doing it I can't show it anymore well, you've all shown tonight that actually the most important thing is to make the films absolutely yeah and if, if we can help make those better and push your ideas a little further with a little bit of support then you should contact us through the website uh, screensouth.org and, uh, you know, we might be able to help a little. Wonderful. And uh, I'd just like to let everyone know that um, uh, Jo will be here uh, after the show. So all come and have a chat with her, see what Screen South can do for you, or we'll um, talk about new projects and that sort of thing. And we're really going somewhere. So just as a final word, which top three pieces of advice would you give to filmmakers who really want to move, as you put it, that next level up? Or what advice would you give? Most important things. Um, make sure you've got a good showreel. And your showreel, this is one point really, but your showreel should be about storytelling, about telling good stories or helping others tell good stories. And, you know, from that point of view, the script and the ideas of the script if you're an actor or a director or a writer or a camera, makeup, costume, whatever, you're helping tell a good story. I think that is number one for me. That's what makes anything stand out. And number two is, um, you know, meet people. You're doing it here. 
it's really worked here. This is what the industry is based on, people talking and meeting and having a conversation and not being afraid to put your hand out or, have a co or you know, pick up the phone or write the letter. I think, turn up, you know. That, the world is run by people who turn up and do things. So, you know, turning up at a festival like this or another festival and telling people that you're from Basingstoke and it's really good down here um, will make a difference. So, you know, good ideas, help good ideas, talk to people, network, tell people how good you are and what you want to do. Um, and always have an idea of what it is that you want next. So you're able to have a confident conversation about, you know, I'd really like a trainee opportunity. I've got a really good script. I'd like you to read it. And I've got 10 more in the back if you don't like that one. Generation of ideas and tangible um, reasons why you are talking to somebody and what it is. And knowing, you're really knowing what it is that you want. And I think um, that combination of feeling confident that, you might as well go for what it is that you want to do because everybody else uh, you know, gets there somehow when they've made that decision to go through that door. Um, so even if you think that, um, I was just trying to think of some big name, but you know, um, Spielberg wouldn't be interested in you, you know, send the film, write the letter, pick up the phone, turn up at the festival, have your lift pitch, because you just never know. And I have known so many people who have said, oh, they wouldn't be interested in me. And I've said, well, write the letter. And the few who have written the letter have actually got some very good results out of it, because, you know, it's easy to say, write the letter. And I think, oh, yeah, write the letter. And they wait for somebody else to write it for them. But I have to say, mentor, seeking mentors, seeking advice, not asking too much, but knowing what it is that you want to do. It's really important. Um, and I've seen it really pay off for people. Wonderful. Well, there you have it. Joe Nolan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I just need to thank absolutely everyone who has come here, the filmmakers, our cameramen, our directors, our scriptwriters, our music score producers, everyone who has actually been making these films. It's because of you that this is actually going on. Without you, this doesn't work. This doesn't actually happen. So thank you so much. Everyone else who's here, film fans, family, friends, everyone, thank you so much for coming here. Thanks for turning up. Thanks for your support. With you guys, we can actually achieve um, this status of having perhaps Basingstoke or the local area as actually being recognised as a centre for independent film in the UK. And we're slowly actually getting there. Normally you mention it and people sort of have a chuckle and then you wait three seconds and they go, oh actually, maybe. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. <laughs> <laughs>